Oh, I promise you, yes, we have done that. We have streamed before? Uh, we have done many a thing before. But is one of those streaming? I, I would believe so, yes. Hmm, sounds suspicious to me. Well, most stuff sounds sus to you. What is it? Okay, quest available. Blood Eyes Pack. Didn't we already do this? Yeah, if you notice, it says it's repeatable. Oh, no. uh, is, well, I mean, it's a level 26 quest. Is it worth doing? I probably don't care that much. I'm kind of with you on that if it's only level 26. Then decline it. I, I did. Well, ha, ha, ha. Yeah, I know. Rebel is me. Okay, uh, what, what's the plan? So, keep going straight. Yeah, I don't see you live. Oh, I'm starting to see something show up now. There's some Lotro. Keep having to click off and click back on. <laughs> it's all good. At least I know we will always have one viewer. Yay! One of the most loyal. <laughs> I would hope so. Okay, so is there no other stable master between us and this treasure camp or anything? No. No. Well, we're okay. Walk we're walking. Well, technically, we're riding. Okay, so we're, we're what are we doing out here now? We've got some orcs to kill. Oh, I'm totally down for killing orcs. I don't know. Oh, I don't know if these orcs count though. Because so, they're not technically in the city. Well, they count for a deed. And... Yeah, so... Well, so check your quest log. Do you have preemptive measures and seeking the source? Uh, Yes and yes. Good. Those are the ones we're doing. I also have low food stores. Do I have that one? And spider get gems and warg slayer. Those are around Esteldon. Those are not here in Fornost. Oh. Okay. You're out of range. range. You're out of range. I'm going slower. <laughs> Run faster. I... I... Yes. Because that's so doable. I knew it. You're such a goob. Every day. It would not be the same if I was not. <laughs> well, you are you, and for that I'm grateful. I'm glad you like me for me. I like you for you. <laughs> well, that reminds me of a 90s song. But I'm technically not allowed to sing or dance due to a court order, so I'm not going to go into it. I'm the co person constantly telling you to defy that order, so I once again tell you to defy that order. Yeah, it, I'm, I'm not doing that. <laughs> Ooh, a Bogmo warlord. You're, you're lucky you got a dance out of me at our wedding reception. Okay, so that's the six orcs in Fornost City. Is there anything else we need to do here? Goblins in Fornost City. Huh? Works for me. Works for me. I'm just following the arrow. I'm just following you. Woohoo. Funny how that yeah. works out. Pile of blind leading the blind. Something like that. Oh, look, you aggroed a boar. And I aggroed a whore mantle. Because I accidentally hit a damage thing and it. I pulled it. I swear I didn't mean to. And eh, we're rocking the stuff here. Does not matter. I apparently dropped a rune stone. On purpose? I'm just kind of grabbing abilities and, and hitting stuff. I don't always know what they do still. Do you need to do another read your abilities session? No. Why would I want to do that? You know what you're doing. 
It's far more fun just to button mash. Hey, Ak, how you doing, man? Okay, are, are we done with Fornos then? We gotta go find the blog mall defiler. Oh, okay. Well, I'm gonna mount. You're gonna have to dismount. Just a second. Oh, I'm sure I will. But I don't move as fast as you do. Hmm. I mean, haven't you done this before? Ooh, look, one of those level 100 enemies. Oh, really? A dude with the purple name. Ooh, wow. Yeah, frick. Okay, yeah, we, we'd best steer clear. Uh, we're doing all right. Glad it's Friday. Uh, really looking forward to the weekend. So. Glad to hear that you're doing well, though. But yeah, we've got a, uh, a very, very busy tomorrow ahead of us between streaming and then other stuff we got to get done, so <laughs> it's going to be an interesting day. So I'm just kind of killing goblins... Because I can. So. Always a good reason. Okay. Yeah, holiday weekend, but we don't have it off or anything, so. But hopefully, uh, we're... We're hopeful that nurseries will have some plants and whatnot, so that we can start moving on things again. Uh, in terms of filling up our front yard, because they didn't. Uh, at the beginning of the week, when, I had, when we actually had days off. And, uh... It made us quite sad. <laughs> Well, hello, hello, people on the stream. I just saw that number jump. I'm happy to see that. Uh, where did you go? Oh, I'm there, right over there. here. I was gra grabbing the glowy stuff. Okay, yeah, that's that's what I'm off to go do. Starts a new quest. Oh, it does, does it? To uh, destroy siege parts. I mean, that makes more sense than trying to carry them. Oh, I should probably accept that quest, actually. Yeah, would help. Because I kept... I was just clicking on him, not sure... Like, not seeing any progress or anything. I'm like, okay, so what's the point? What's going on here? Okay, well, now that now that's taken care of. Oh, good. You know, honestly, though, I have looked forward to uh, jumping back on Lotro this whole week, so. Yeah? Well, because we were kind of at a, you know, an interesting part in the story, and things were moving along, and we were in Fornos, and I was all ex happy and whatnot, and then we kind of had to call it because we had a bunch of stuff Saturday. Which, you know, undoubtedly was quite fun to, you know, spend most of Saturday teaching Galen Journeys of Middle Earth, but, uh... Yeah, Saturday was quite busy. <laughs> Which basically seems to be the case for our lives entirely at this point. That's just an adult thing. The adultier you get, the busier every day gets. And so it would seem. Okay, I need one more siege uh, interactable. There was one over here. I don't know if oh, you yeah. saw it. I did not get that one. Okay. Uh, and then is this the defiler guy? Yeah, but I killed him, so it might have counted for you. Uh, I, I mean, it probably, yeah, it says return, so, but I'm just killing him anyway, because I can. Because we have murder in our hearts. Something like that. All right, mount up. Sure. Sweet. On our new festivaly mounts. Yep, we, uh, we spent some time and got mounts at the festival. So, <laughs> we got yeah. both of them. We do need to do uh, Taste of Spring uh, one more time to finish out that quest, but uh, overall, I'm not riding the vanilla horse anymore, and I am happy about that. I'm now rocking a leaf strewn elk, or leaf covered elk, or something 
some fruity sounding thing. I, I think it is an elk. Well, yeah, it's it's an elk. I'm just trying to it, like like leaf strewn, leaf covered, leaf Elmer's glued, like like what's what's leaf the... bedecked. Leaf bedecked. That's that's the proper use for it. I don't know. I just picked one. I kind of like that. Leaf bedecked. That almost sounds like like a, a Norwegian name or something. I kind of like it though. Okay, who are we turning stuff into here? This dude has some stuff. Okay. Ooh, I dinged. Congrats. Uh, I don't need a pocket thing with uh, with with block rating. I can't use block rating. It's not for you. No, it's not. Ooh, now I have my uh, fast travel debris skill. Oh, cool. Cool, cool. All right. Uh... Should be one more. I think this guy. Yeah, we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be getting it done either tomorrow or like Monday. So, but we know that it's about to leave. So we're we're we are on top of it. We've at least gotten the most important bits done, though. Yes, yes, we have. Okay. All, All right. right. Let me pull up quest C's again. Uh, we are going back to Esteldin. Okay. I think okay. we've done all we can here without doing the dungeon. Okay. I am right behind you. You look like you're way behind me. I'm trying. I can wait. <laughs> I mean, you're the one that knows the way, so, like, I'm just following you. Waiting for me isn't necessarily the best idea. I don't want to lose you in Fornost. That doesn't sound very friendly of me. No, no, and I appreciate that you don't leave me to die, but still, like, I don't exactly know where I'm headed. Remember, this is, remember this is Lotro lore for dummies, and I am the dummy in this situation. You are going to the left eventually. Okay. So, take three rights and then take another right? Yes. Gotcha. I can follow those GPS uh, directions pretty easily, thank you. I do pride myself on that ability. Now we just got a bit of a run ahead of us. It seems to be a lot of Lotro is just a bit of a run. It's a big world. I'm noticing that. I mean, I'm not complaining. I'm just saying it, it seems to be a very common thing. It's the world. Did you expect it to be small? I know you're referencing something, but I have no idea what. The next line was smaller. That still doesn't give me anything. Nah, uh, Chronicles of Narnia. Which one? The first one. Mrs. Beaver said that to Susan, and then Susan was all like, smaller. It's been a long time since I've read those books or watched the movie. That's a movie-specific line. Oh, okay. Oh. At least I'm pretty sure it is. It might be in the book. It's been a long time since I read the books. Yeah. I it, I think I read the books when I was a kid with my mom. Um... Because, you know, that's that's what I do, rather than draw pictures of horses at night like my sister did with my dad. And she eh. still can't draw. Eh. We have the omnibus sitting on our bookshelf. It takes, like, two hours to read through one of those books. Is that it? They don't take long. Like, maybe more than that, but you can do it in an afternoon. Really? Mm -hmm. I mean, you read faster than I do, so it's it's a... So I, I might not be able to bang through it in a whole afternoon, but is that really it? They're not long, and they're not hard. I they're not hard reads so that's I by any means. I swear I remember it being, them being, you know, actual decent-length books. 
take the taxi horse to Esteldon. Alright, I have selected Esteldon. Here we go! But yeah, I'd recommend it. It's a, it's a good, like, if you've got a free afternoon, go read one of the books. Uh, I will very much consider it. Although I still need to, uh, get back into reading The Silmarillion. Yeah, we should do some reading. We should. But Sunday I spend just painting most of the day, so... But not after it gets too dark to really be able to see. No, no, now I do it because we got that lamp. <laughs> so, but yeah, Silmarillion's a tough read. It is a very tough read. A lot tougher than uh, C.S. Lewis. Yeah, well, I mean, it just goes to show Tolkien's uh, genius and masterfulness with, uh, you know, just his command of the language and of the written word and everything else. Mm -hmm. Well, and Lewis and Tolkien were writing for different audiences. That's true. Lewis specifically wanted his to be something children could digest. With an in-your-face Christian allegory. Or, not not allegory, but... Uh, it's allegory. Allegor allegory? You sure? Yeah, that's extended metaphor, essentially. Okay, well, yeah. With quite the in-your-face Christian allegory, whereas if you look, it is in Tolkien's, but it's significantly more subtle. Yeah, both incredible minds. Oh, and they were buds. And they were. Well, I mean, the whole point, the whole reason that there was a, a lamppost in um, the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe is because Tolkien made the comment to C.S. Lewis about you know no good story ever you know ever has a lamppost in it or something like that. Isn't that the case? It was something like that. It. Yeah, he was criticizing the existence of a lamppost in some fashion in a good fantasy story, and C.S. Lewis is like, well, here you go. And then he gave it a fantasy beginning and showed how it even arrived in Narnia. Yeah. It's a very pretty night sky tonight. It is. A lot of stars. I, I might have mentioned... You constellations. That. Well, like, I think I might have even mentioned this to you, that, um, if I recall correctly, the night sky in Lotro is meant to represent the stars as Tolkien would have seen them during, like, the 1930s. Really? Mm-hmm. So it's our sky. Like, you can see Orion. It's right in front of us. Yeah. yeah. Um, but, yeah, it's supposed to be the stars as they were seen in the night sky in the 30s, if I believe. Interesting. Yeah, I can see a failed 1990s film company up in this night sky here. It, you, see, you see what I did there? It might be whooshing over my head a bit. <laughs> I forget just how much of a difference the four years of age we have between us can be. Where did you go? Oh, there you are. Right here. Um, Orion was a film studio in the 90s. Ah. That's, that's the joke I was trying to make. Well, what, um, movies did they do? I don't remember off the top of my head. I'll tell you in a, uh, later. All right, book three, chapter three. What do you need? I suppose we can be thankful that we are no longer as ignorant of the enemy's plans as we once were. Yet the question of how we will face this threat looms over us all. The people of the North Downs must be called together for a council to deal with this threat. There is much to do and much I will ask of you in the days ahead. If you are of willing spirit. Finish now. Okay. Wow. Okay. Stay a moment. Book three, chapter four, part one of three. A call to... Click and drag to move panel. Um, <laughs> we will need the might of the dwarves of Orthricar if we are to face the threat of Angmar. The dwarves there are good long beards, but have been, long been put to task by the dower hands. When the dower hands showed their true loyalties, the long beards drove them out of Orthricar. Yet they are still hard pressed by the dower hands, and only recently has one of the of Durin's folk from Erebor, Dori, come to aid them. It will not be easy to convince them to lend their strength to the council, but you must try. Travel to Orthricar and speak with Dory. If you cannot find Dory for some reason, speak to a dwarf named Hanar. It is he who leads the Longbeards of Orthricar. 
Okay. Uh, book three, chapter five, part one of three. Would you do a so call to me? click and drag to move panel. Uh, to the south of Esteldin, there stands a small refuge of the elves. Many long years have the elves dwelt there. However, in recent days, most of the elves left the glade. What is worse, I have heard that those few that remained were slain by stone trolls from the north. It is an irony that Gildor Inglorion, an, el an elf lord of Rivendell, was coming to give word of the enemy's movements, but arrived too late to save those who remained. He should be called to the council, but I fear that he will be too consumed by the desire to protect both the glade and his people from their rage. It will seek... It will be your task to go to Lynn Gileath and convince Gildor to come to the council. And book three, chapter six, part one of three. A, a call to... I'm not... Yeah. Of all those that have suffered in the North Downs, it is perhaps the people of the Trestle Bridge who have suffered the most. They have all stood firm against all orcs' attacks, but their own numbers are dwindling. In fact, the mayor of the town, Lavelle Boskins, was recently slain, and his daughter, Nellie, now leads the people there. I would ask you to go to Trestle Bridge and speak with Nellie. We will need her leadership in the... At the council. I will give you a word of warning. Although her people have the most to gain from coming, Nellie will be the hardest to convince. The constant attacks will block all thoughts of anything but dealing with the immediate threat. Okay. Yeah. We got three places to go. We have our work cut out for us. Hobbit elves or men first. Which one do you want to do? Uh, well, he said men would be the toughest, so let's go do them. All right. Back to the taxi horse. You're not my real mom. You can't tell me what to do. Should I text your mom and say, tell Nate to get on the taxi horse? I mean, you could. I don't know how she'd react to that. She'd probably be very confused. With question marks. I could do it in the family group chat and then just be like, hint, hint, just tell Nate to do it. <laughs> yeah, you could. Uh, and I think you'd confuse everyone else except for Grant who just go along with it. Uh, okay, which one do I take? You're going to Trestle Bridge. Trestle Bridge, okay. It's a good thing we grabbed that right before we started streaming. Seriously. I know, right? Like, 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 seriously, it's like we just came from all this area. We needed to ride back here for you to tell us to go back out to this area. <laughs> I mean, it is what it is. It's, it's, it's leveling in an MMO. That's just how it goes. That's the name of the game. Ooh, I got stuff that I'm going to need to sell. Is your bag full? No, my overflow's got... Or my pending loot has a bunch of stuff in it. And I should probably sell it. Nah. Uh, okay. If, if that's truly what you think. I don't care. We're going to a town that has stores, so... We also have the VIP, which gives me a mobile store. Can you do that on the back of a taxi horse? I don't know. Let's try. Oh my gosh, yes you can. Dang, that's really oh, handy. No, you can't. Aww. It says you're too busy to do that right now. That would be like a really efficient use of time while you taxi can open, You can open your vault. Okay. <laughs> but you can't open the auction house. You might have a few reputation consumables in your overflow. I had some. Possibly. Uh, let's see. Orc battle medallions and war lashes. Oh yeah, I've got nine battle medallions. So, uh, can't use those right now either, though. Uh, where? Oh, you can't use them on the. Uh... We can't. Not on. Yeah. The... Not on the taxi horse. Oh well, that's just. Buzz something killy. yeah buzz killy we'll go with that i'll i'll go for buzz killy that's that's a good that's a good word for it <laughs> this is nathan hodges's farm nate you've got a farm in the north downs hodges is not our last name but you're nathan i th this is true this this might be true yes but Hodges is not our last name. And there are many Nathans out there. And even more Nates, because not every Nathan likes going by Nathan. I don't. I think there were like three Nathans in my class when I when we still lived in Indiana. 
when I was growing up in like fifth grade. I don't even know how many there were when I was growing up in uh, in California. Granted, there were a lot of. But granted, we had entirely different experiences because my graduating high school class was bigger than your entire combined high school, wasn't it? Uh, depends on school. So when we still lived in Indiana before we moved to North Carolina, if I had stayed there until my senior year, my graduating class would have been like 90. But my graduating class in North Carolina was 280, I think. Yeah, my graduating class in California was over 500. Yeah, it's a lot bigger. <laughs> yeah, just a bit. <laughs> that was a long graduation, and it was all in the rain in an amphitheater. Ours was in the gym. It still felt long. It was probably half the length of yours. Uh, well, and this was back in the days before smartphones where you could just derp at your way through something you didn't want to be at. You had to actually pretend like you were paying attention. Oh, that during whatever rehearsal you did the week before, that some angry administrator would have been like, now don't have your cell phones out because all your parents will be watching and we'll take it from you. Oh, no, I'm specifically referring to the parents being able to do that. What, you, you think when we have kids, I'm going to actually care about whatever graduation they go to beyond just them? Not really. <laughs> several hundred children. Who cares if they're graduating? Exactly. Right on. Okay, so finally we are getting to uh, Trussell Span. Man, that was a long ride. Frick. Trussell. Trussell Bridge. That was a very long ride. Yeah, good thing we did grab it. No kidding. Smokey in the town. It was a touch. He wasn't kidding. They really are coming under attack. <laughs> what was that? Oh, I was saying dismount early. Save you like two whole seconds. Oh. Hello, friend. Can I uh, help you with something? I'm, I'm right next to vendors now, so... Okay. So yeah, I'm... I'm... Probably going to take care of this real quick while I'm here. Do it. Do it. That That is the plan. Uh, let's see. Where are those? Wit. What did you say they were? Lashes? War or lashes or something like that. Okay. I wanted to make sure that I didn't accidentally sell them. Uh, I think... We're actually probably good at this point. Yeah, okay. Sell all. Bye-bye. Hello, inventory space. All right. Let's go talk to Nelly. Trotter. What's Trotter? Uh, I'll, I'll tell you when sense. you're older. A council at, of Estelden, have you taken leave of your senses, Elf? Are you unaware of the dangers facing this town, the constant attacks we must endure? These men in the east, if they truly cared about the threats facing Trestle Bridge, they would keep us. He they would help us here with these orcs. We would not have to suffer as we have. I, we lost all those dear to us. No, I shall not come to this council nor anything else, and I shall not be convinced otherwise. Now, if you have no other business, leave me to see to the defense of this town. to do or at least look what the quest is telling us to do slay some orcs book three chapter six part one wait what book three chapter six part one greetings friend yeah look at it talk to halberod 
dude in Esteldon. You're kidding. Nope. No. The it's not before we get all the way to Esteldon and do one of the other two. You're... Did, have you already left? No, I just hit the taxi horse. Where are you? I, th I thought I was following you. Okay, now you've left? We just rode past each other. I wasn't sure if you were on your horse or not. If that was your horse or the stable horse. How can I be upset? Taxi horse. All right, well, off to Esteldon. Because, you know, that that's uh, that's totally necessary. Like I said, though, we will dismount before we get all the way there and do one of the other two at least first. Okay, yeah, I, I'm, you're going to have to tell me when to dismount because we are a significant ways behind... Uh, separated. You gotta be kidding me. We ride all the freaking way out here to take care- to talk to her. I expect to do all these quests to get her on our side. And then we just ride all the way back to Halberat. Yes. Uh, this is like a two to three minute ride to begin with. Forces. Yeah, this, this is true. If we didn't. I'd rather not. I'd imagine it's a lot like what we had to do with running from Rivendell back to Bree. But on purpose. Yup. Is that going to be what most of the stream is tonight? Just riding on horseback back and forth? Honestly, not sure. But I'm sure there'll be at least one more trip. Wait, what? Are you making a joke, or... Uh, did, I don't remember that happening, but it's been so long I, so long since I read the books. You could sing uh, The Road Goes Over on and on. I could, but I'm not going to. <laughs> okay, heck, fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> Though, if the books played out anything like Lotro does, I could see that happening. Heck, he'd, he'd take him right to Mount Doom and then have to take him back to Bree. walk into Mordor without walking out and then back in. Basically. I'm passing your farm again. You ever what it must be like to be, like, the optometrist for the Eye of Sauron? Pretty sure he didn't have one. No, I mean, if anyone had an optometrist, it would be the Flaming Eye of Sauron. I mean, how do you diagnose that? Mm. I mean, I guess maybe. I don't know. I, I I think it would be an interesting profession to be the optometrist of Sauron. It was done by some orc who's kind of like the <laughs> elf from the Claymation Rudolph who wants to be a dentist and not a toy making elf. I never watched the Claymation Rudolph. You know this. We've discussed this. Well, I told you everything you need to know. The elf to be a dentist. Didn't want to make. I I gathered as much. <laughs> Did not like it. And then he sang a little song. Like, Why am I such a misfit? I will uh, I will take your word for it because I have no intention of ever seeing it. I can get down with that. I didn't really like it. Claymation Christmas stuff was not big with my family. Granted, Claymation period was not big with my family, so... 
I at least watch like Wallace and Gromit or Chicken Run or one of those Ardman movies. Uh, we didn't. No. Yep, I see you. Okay. We're gonna go to Dory because closer. Ah, okay. That works, I guess. Are we gonna have to go back to Halberad after talking to Dory? We might actually do stuff up here first. Okay. It's been a while, but I'm not sure. Is it just me or is it like stupid hot in here right now? It's pretty warm in here. That's why I've wanted that's why the window's been open like all day. Uh, yeah, it's heating up. Do we need to start start uh, using the swamp cooler? I don't know. Oh wait, we, we can't because open. the 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 hose is still winterized. Um honestly, just open up that door. I know you don't prefer it, but it would put a breeze in here. I'll think about it. Anywho, okay, so where's Dory? Are we fi- Oh, do we need to find Dory? Are we, are we finding Dory? I was stable master first. I, I was making a pun. Oh, I get it. <laughs> Is she at Wallaby Way? 42 Wallaby Way. No, dude, we not need to talk to over here. Oh, okay. You seek Dory! Alas, Dory has been captured by the Dowerhands. An envoy of the traitors just left and said that if we did not turn over the mines to them, Dory would be killed. Will you stay and speak with me a moment? Hey, I dinged. A council of the free people? How could we give a thought to a council with Dory gone? It was only with Dory's arrival and the horde of gems he brought that hope began to creep back into our hearts. But Dory has been captured, the gems lost, and hope is stolen away. If those men, those rangers, wish to have the help of the dwarves of Orthracar, then Dory must be freed. If you are the ranger's envoy, you must do this if your desire is our presence at this council. Dory is likely being held in the Dowerhands camp to the west of Orthracar. Free Dory and escort him to safety. Once he's free, we'll make our decision regarding this council of yours. Nice. Hooray! An escort quest. My favorite. Do not cry. No, I'm gonna cry. I hate escort quests. It's like that Viva La Dirt League bit about escort quests. That's what I always picture them as. You know which one I'm talking about? I think so. The one oh. where the, the escort guy is literally walking maybe like one tenth of an inch for each step. And complaining the whole way with like three lines of dialogue. That one. You haven't seen that one? I'll have to find that for you. Because it's it's very accurate. Why? Why is it every time we have to go somewhere, you make me jump down a cliff? I push you. You could go around if you want. <laughs> Yeah, I, I love Epic NPC, man. They're very funny. They're very clever. Did you grab any of those other quests for bear meat and things first? Yeah, I got those. Oh, here's Lynx's. Their, uh, their PUBG logic is pretty spot on, too. Not that I play PUBG, but I understand the logic they're talking about. Go. I'm killing bears. You're so powerful and mighty. Hardly. Oh, X, so I'm, I'm assuming that's the link to the video I was referring to, hon. That X just put nice. in the chat. So we'll check it out after the stream. But uh, thank you for that one, X. Appreciate it. Yep. Slow down, adventurer! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I need one more Lynx fur. 
take that back. Oh, cool. Their uh, their Red Dead videos are also pretty funny as well. I mean, I mean, they're they're just very clever with what they do. It's really good. They are. Actually, their uh, um, Rowan's uh, the the fisherman character, Fisher Ted or whatever. That that's that line has actually become one of our usual kind of like uh, common vernacular ones. Like with our friends, we're just like morning. Nice day for fishing, ain't it? So. Well, now you gotta do. The <laughs> yep. My family was very confused when I pulled that out. Do you remember that, hon? I do. <laughs> like, my brother-in-law was the only one that was like, "What?" Like that even was just like, "Yeah, I guess I could go fishing." Like. No one Love got fishing. it. Yeah, Jake does love fishing and hunting and anything outdoorsy. I'm pretty sure your family's not really at video game parody video references. No. No, they they wouldn't. Which is sad, but I mean, you know me, I'm kind of the odd man out with my family. Yeah, the backstory. We might have to go through the build. Okay, well, we're, we're like, aggroing everything within range, so we might want to actually just stop and, and deal with that first. Okay, there we go. We are mighty adventurous. Nobody can touch us. I am Leet1337. Circa 2008 Leet Speak on the internet. Gosh, that makes me feel old. Okay, what is this little lightning thing above my right shoulder? Is that just meaning I'm max attunement? Above your right shoulder? I, mean, I don't know. I mean, maybe. Because that's. No, because it's still there. I mean, I know you're. You don't have a rune keeper that's super high level, so I... yeah. Ooh. What's in this antique... Oh, that's scholar stuff. Yeah, they have harvesting nodes. What was that? Yeah, they've got nodes they can harvest, essentially. Is this where Dory is? It is! Hey, we found 42 Wallaby Way! Okay, uh, what do we do? Uh, did you read or did you hit continue? Do we need to read it? I... Oh, it says I don't have the corresponding quest? What do you mean? I don't have okay, the corresponding Okay, sh share it. Give me just a sec. If we need to... Did that work for you? Uh, it says I need to find Dory. Well, do we need to wait for him to spawn in there? Oh, gosh dang it, I'm sorry. I ruin everything. Well, how did that happen? Because you talked to the dude. So I, you I, had I did. I, I guess it never... I don't know. Did I not hit accept or something? We'll, we'll make it work. We have to do this again. We'll make it work. Oh, that's upsetting. Supply crate. I was sure I took it too. But we got there, and then all of a sudden, it's like, nope, you didn't. No Dory for you. There's a chest over here, so. 
Like, oh, I, there's no reason why... Oh, I do not have the corresponding quest. I guess that's to get the gems or something. No, the gems are over here. He just grabbed them. Okay, then I don't know what the chest is for. Request. Yeah, I, I wouldn't have hit, uh, you know, reject. So, that's, that's just weird that I didn't get it. But what ifs? If we need to do it again, we'll do it again. Yeah, it's not like it's that hard with the two of us. And we outlevel this stuff decently. That too. Actually, we'll run back over there. The cage is right there. Go see if Dory's there. Cage is right. Oh, true. No, he's not. Well, poop. Door's still up. Need to get him all the way out so we can get him in again. Not entirely likely. This means more dwarves. Well, it, it maybe, Ek, but at the same time, it's like... I tried I tried clicking on the door, and it's like you need to have chapter, uh, chapter 6 part... Uh, part 2 of 3. Which confused me, because I was like, I thought I had part 2 of 3. So, I must not have grabbed it or something. I don't know. Well, whatevs. Yep, we'll make it work. At least he's not the worst expert. No, he's actually moving at a decent pace, which is good. has ended for me and I need to go back and talk to the dude who sent us after Dory. I am trying to talk to him but it's not letting me. So your request still says find Dory? Wait, wait, oh, oh, hold on. It doesn't even show up now. Uh, book, book 3 chapter 4 part 2. What does it say? I don't see it in my tracking here so hold on. Yeah I'm looking. I, so what is it? Mission? No. Volume 1 book 3. Council of the North. Part two, three. I still need to. Oh, talk to Hanar. Uh, okay, so maybe after escorting Dory to safety, he told you to return to Orthrakar and speak to Hanar. So I guess it did count. Convenient. Yeah. Okay. Whatevs. I'll take it. I will happily take that. Not sure what happened initially, though. But yeah, whatevs. Sorted itself out in the end. Yep. For which I am grateful. Skyrim steep hill. Just a bit. I'm trapping us. I'm going on an adventure. Charlie. <laughs> We're going on an adventure, Charlie. Gosh, I love that video. You know, 12 years later and it's still funny to me. Puppy, I'm a gingerbread man. You know, funny enough, he was actually stopped. Stopped and eaten, as I recall. Yeah. Well, here's an art. Yep. You're gonna oh, read it? No, I, I accidentally hit finish. Okay. Uh. Okay, we're under attack. 
Before we retired, I told Dory of your message about this Council of Esteldon. He recommended that we should go, and I agree with him. The dwarves shall lend their might to this council and free all the, of the North Downs from the clutches of the enemy. Go now and tell the rangers we shall come. Well, that was easy. What was that, hon? Mostly. Yep. Okay, now where are we headed? To turn in our bear meat and lynx furs. Ah. At your service and your families. At your service and your families. Uh... So, okay. This is Stable Master. So, where do we go? The Stable Master's one over here. Well, then why'd you come That's for the... Separate for that. That, that. That's for what? Like, the call to war thing that we haven't done and I've never done before. Okay, well, I'm riding to Estelden then. Because that's where we need to go, isn't it? Uh, the elves before we go back. Okay, uh, well then let's do the elves. Good, but I mean, we'd dismount partway to Estelden, wouldn't we? Yeah. Okay. But this is faster than our own places. We really need to work with your noise gate on your mic, because you cut in and out so bad. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's not your fault. I need to just sit down and work on it. Okay, so... When do I dismount? Close to it. Okay. Just tell me when. Or when, sorry. I have to do that on Discord. <laughs> it's all good. Okay. Now we go south. Okay. So, Eck, you got anything fun planned for the weekend? Just gonna, or uh, you just gonna enjoy the, um, the nice weather? Also, other people watching the stream, uh, welcome, welcome. Um, thanks for being here. Feel free to chime in on chat if you want. Always love to see who comes and uh, comes and spends a little of their Friday with us. Yeah, it was in the uh, 30s and 40s here, Monday and Tuesday, and then it's picked up, uh, warmed up quite a bit lately. So, 80 tomorrow. Yeah, thankfully. Yeah, I wouldn't blame you if it's 30 degrees not wanting to do something outside. That's that's way too cold. Rick, I think it's too cold when it's like, you know, in the 50s or 60s. I'm, I'm a bit of a baby like that. I, I love warm weather and heat. But I'm apparently quite in the minority. What quest does this guy have? Will you lend me your ear? Maybe could grab could do it, but I'm gonna go talk to Gildor first, but let's look. Stay I'll on. just take him and if we get do him, we do him. If we don't, we don't. Alright, let's go talk to this guy. Let's go talk to Gildor. And let's talk to your elven boy toy. Hey? <laughs> Did I throw you for that? A bit throwy. <laughs> Greetings. I wish I could extend to you a warmer welcome, but these are dark times for the elves. The shadow of the enemy has grown long, longer than perhaps any had thought, and the elves of Lynn Gilead have paid the price for our complacency. Will you lend me your ear? This Council of Estelden. I wish that I could simply commit to such an endeavor, but it is not so simple. Many of my people are nearly overcome with grief and anger at what happened here, and the threats against Lynn Gilead are not yet dealt with. Our scouts tell me that the orcs of Nan Wathren are planning to move against us soon. The scouts say that these orcs are being led by a great Uruk of Angmar, disp uh, named Druckort, Druckort, whatever, who camps in the deepest parts of Nathwaran. Perhaps if this Uruk were slain, Lynn Gilead would be protected enough to for me to come to your council. It is a heavy burden, but I would task you with this if you remain of stout heart. The Uruk is a mighty foe, and so you should not attempt to confront him on your own. If you must, then use the strength of this elf stone to find the strength to prevail from deep within yourself. Well, 
Okay. Are you dancing? I was waiting for you to mount up. I see. We're gonna search some battered barrels. Okay, uh, oh, that bug's got a... Bug has a mission. Cool. Gee, imagine that. Did not see that one coming at all. Nothing like the MMO handing you quests to kill bugs. I know, right, Eck? It's like, okay, you, you guys have this big force. I think you guys can take on this one single named orc, but okay, I'll take care of it. You know, it's not like I've got better things to do with my time. But do you have better things to do? Um, I mean, I have Gwent to, to play. Da -da, da -da, da -da. Oh, I loved Gwent. Beat that one lady and she saw it again. Oh, I hate her. The, 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 oh, gosh, she drove me insane. She was the only one that I, that I couldn't reliably beat with my Northern Kingdoms deck. Herbalist lady. Uh, are we supposed to be picking these? I guess so. Yeah, it tells you to pick other flowers too. Oh, okay. You know, that lady always upset me. She was always the most annoying person to try and beat. I haven't played Gwent in a long time. No, we haven't. That was like one of the, my favorite parts of that game, though. That's one of the times when a mini game in a game was actually a lot of fun all by itself. Yep. Uh, that was a fun game. Honestly, one of the best I think I've ever played in my entire life. They did such a good job with it. I mean, the only person I've ever heard say anything negative about it was, well, my cousin Rob, who just, well, I mean, he's him. He's just a wet blanket, so. Well, I mean, that's, I guess that's not entirely true. He's not about everything, just very much when it comes to gaming. Anywho, though. Uh, okay, so that's enough of the flies. Uh, I guess you could call us Lord of the Flies. Maybe. Uh, probably not. We, we don't need to go to a British fairy tale about child cannibalism. I actually read it. I probably should read it one day just for posterity's sake, but I've never actually read it. I think you're probably good. I, I've seen enough spoofs on it uh, in different TV shows. I think I get the gist. Are we supposed to be killing these things? He had violence. No, but what? He had violence and I didn't finish the sentence. Ah. Uh, okay, fair enough. Alright, lead kindly light. Uh, let's go collect our stakes. Well, we also need to uh, kill that one Uruk. Yep. So why are, we, why are we just standing around in the water? At the map. Off we go. Oh, 
Okay, so we got the flowers here. Do you remember where the other flowers are? All over the north. Oh, joy. Sweet. More running around. Well, probably not a tonight, tonight quest. No, probably not. You gotta remember, though, like, I, this is this is all still very new to me. Oh. Uh, oh, no. Wait, is that a quest or is that a deed? I think that's a deed. We kill wargs. Oh, we do? Oh, we do. Oh. Warg Slayer. Okay, I thought that was a deed. Never mind, then. Deeds are usually named. Alright, well, let's go put them on the endangered species list. Oh, we also have to kill these things for steaks. I wonder what they taste like. Oh, I assume. But don't they have cows in Middle Earth? Yeah, but I think orcs were like a real life creature that existed and went extinct a long time ago, but it was an ancestor to our modern day cattle slash buffalo type things. Kind of like a dire wolf was the ancestor to, uh, to wolves and dogs. Interesting. I think Auric used to live in Europe. Hmm. Actually, you know, now that you mention it, I, I seem to recall them being in Age of Mythology. Where? Um, as, like, a, one of the things that you can, like, kill for food. Oh, that you bring back to your town center and it gets fat? No. Oh, well, maybe. Maybe. It, I think it's one of those things that, it, like, depends on the map, if that's what you're going to get or not. Sense. But I seem to recall seeing, uh, Orc. I don't know, that, that's... Man, it's been a while since we played that game. Yeah. We should play that again. Oh, I, I tagged something. Because I'm me, and that's what I do. Whoops. Do you need more stakes? I mean, I'm always down for a good steak. You know me. I do enjoy a good steak. Okay. Uh, where to next? Off to kill that orc, but I think we've got a bit of a walk to get into where he is. Okay. okay. I'm mistaken, and that's a way in. That might be a way in. I mean, I'm just following you, so. Probably a bad idea, but okay. Yeah, I, I will freely admit it's probably not the most sagacious thing I could do, but. It's like a case of blind, leading the blind into crazy town. Well, I mean, your everyday life is kind of crazy town since you married me, so that's, that's kind of... I, you're you're not leading us into it. You're just ca you're like the mayor of it right now. I hold political office. You would get excited at that. Only in this situation, I wouldn't want a real life political office. Are are you uh, are you gonna go all Palpatine esque and start screaming unlimited power? Yeah. Why you could. Just be like, I am the Senate. Am crazy town? Basically. Or caught on a tree. That seems better. It seems the very elvish thing to do. Okay, so is this the way up to that orc now? I think it might be. Looks like a path. We are significantly higher level than the stuff here. Yep. How far ahead are we? Well, depends on the area, but like you'll notice everything here is an elite, basically. Oh, really? But the red frame is. Oh. Well, okay then. Yeah, seriously, not high enough level for them to leave us alone. <laughs> yeah, that would be nice. I'm just 
He's running like a crazy person. I'm gonna get dismounted soon. Lots of pop-up quests. I haven't, uh... We haven't gotten a single one yet. Elfstone. Okay. What did that do? We are inspired. Ah, cool. Oh wow, I am I am very hurt. That escalated quickly. Well, your health, your max health has gone up. Oh, that makes. Way more sense. That's inspiration for you. Okay, yeah, that makes way more sense. Hey, I'm lagging behind you. Right back there. Because uh, you ran ahead of me while I was looking at something. What? Yeah, you you do that quite frequently. You leave me to die. I don't want to look at stuff. Because I'm new to this uh, game. And this far in? I say as I eat some wood. <laughs> <laughs> no, I gotta remember this is all new to me. Like, I'm just taking it in as I go. That's true. My brain oh, looks like an old camp. Yeah, I mean, for you, this is all, you know, old hat. Wow. Oh, getting dark now i know we're getting to the extra evil part of it i didn't realize that was an indicator of anything yeah usually it's like part of some kind of evil the sky will get all dark and cloudy good to know why did it why does it wait so long when everyone selected something, because we both had it selected and it was just standing there for like good 10 seconds. My guess is that that way better when you've got a full fellowship. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Here, look, here's our dude. Oh, he's kind of close. He's close to level. What was that? That was dead in your heart. Ah. Well, okay then. We are near a great source of evil. I'm, I'm getting that. He does not seem to like you very much. I think he would. Ooh, look, a corpse. Boon. And a treasure cache. My level is too low. 90? You gotta be 90 for that. Who the heck is coming here at level 90? Remember they put those level 100 mobs in the region? Yeah, but... Okay, I guess. I have to dismount. Stuff's probably started respawning. Well, let's try and run. Let's let's still try. Run, run as fast as you can. We did make good time through here. I think we could do it potentially. Might be able to. There's a dude in the center of that named Girl of Doom. I saw that. Very Tolkien-esque name. <laughs> You're just jealous. 
Not really, actually. I mean, you know me, I, I generally, like, anytime I play an MMO, I take it, you know, at least, quote-unquote, seriously. Uh, when it comes to, like, the names and stuff, because, you know, it's a role-playing game, so I, I still, I don't want to be stupid with it. Your character to be a part of that world. Exactly. I mean, the, the most crazy name I've ever given someone was Loose Moose. Because, I mean, it was a high mountain torrent druid. How could I not name it Loose Moose? Loose Moose is a great name. <laughs> it really is. Hello, people. Are you saying hello to the orcs we're passing, or to people on stream? The people on stream, the number went up, so I'm oh. saying hello. Yes. Hello, welcome, welcome. Happy to have you joining us here on Friday. Feel free to chime in and chat, let us know who you are. Uh, we're always, always happy to see people here. You have ten guys after you. Oh, I bet I do. But I told you we could make it. They'll leash eventually. We'll just drag them all back into Gildor's bedroom. Or we could do that too. That could be fun. It would be a lot of things for that little room. Nice <laughs> God, <come on. laughs> you duck and rolled. That's a very fun looking roll. It was. Okay, yeah. The the bog dweller thing he's now running back, so it seems like everything's uh everything's good. Back to Gildor. What can I do for you? Ah, you have done it. We heard the wails of the orcs from here. You have seen to the safety of Lingaliath bound to you, and for this you have my thanks. Uh ooh. Interesting. Those gloves are nice. With the Uruk Drukord uh, slain, the threat of the orcs is lessened, and I am free to come to the Council of Esteldin. You should bring word to Halbara that we shall attend him, and that he and that we will arrive soon. Your brave deeds may yet prove a strong foundation for our defenses. Okay then, we will run back to Halbarad. We got a couple sides left here. Oh, we do. If you recall, we finished a couple. Oh, that's true. What can all I right. do to you? We'll turn what all these in. A bunch of more have popped up. Do you want to go to help or do some of these? Uh, mind my words, We can do some of uh, we can do some of these. I mean, how long is it going to take? I don't know. I'm not super familiar with the North Downs. Uh, hmm. you know, let's uh. Let, let, let's go ahead and do these. I mean, I still need to get Warg Slayer and such, so... Alright. Here. And then there's another one here. What is that tapping? I don't know. I thought it was you. I thought it... It's not me. Dun dun! We're haunted. Probably. Mind my words, Traveler. Okay. I if it were you, Ek, I would have si I uh, like numerous questions. <laughs> Namely, how do you know where we are in the first place? All is coming from inside the house. So, why couldn't they give us this quest before we, uh, killed the, uh, the elite orcs? Because we had to, uh, start the, uh, good stuff happening, I guess. I guess. It just, it seems, you know, kind of counterintuitive or counterproductive just to be like, Oh, you know, hey, we're only going to tell you this after 
you go and kill all the stuff that would have counted for this in the first place. An episode of back and forth and back and forth. Are you even still surprised? Uh, you know, I shouldn't be, and yet there's a part of me that is. Then nothing but go back and forth. I mean, in all the... You know, I, I've played numerous MMOs, and... Uh, yeah. It's, it's the same thing in each one. Uh, we are actually not in California, though, Ek. So you can rule that out. Uh, am I supposed to talk to these bog guardians? I'm supposed to mess with that flat stone. I, I mean, I got the flat stone, but why, why are these things just sitting here? Because they can. Okay. I, we didn't read the quest. Read the quest, it will probably tell you. I mean, I don't really care that much. Like, I was just wondering if they were part of the quest. Well, it's mentioned that they don't react when you put that rune down or whatever. Oh. The bugs certainly react. Bugs do that. <laughs> not Idaho yet. That's that's for, not for another uh, two years in the best case scenario. More likely uh, three to... No, more likely around three. <laughs> well, all right then. Got him. I don't mind swimming. I do enjoy a good swim. You are a fan of the water. Well, as as you could would as anyone who's watched my recent arc streams will definitely attest to. I I do enjoy being in the water. Up until I get jumped by a two so. That never happened at swim practice. No, that thankfully never happened at swim practice. Because thankfully, two souls uh, don't exist like they used to. The giant squids that exist today are significantly smaller than the two Seothetis uh, that were back back in the day. Just like how sharks are significantly smaller than Megalodon was. Oh, they're so pretty big. Oh yes, they are very big, but still nowhere in comparison. Although, in theory, th there there are some people out there who do still speculate that uh, it's possible that a Megalodon, or at least a shark of that size, could still exist. Um, based off of just kind of anecdotal evidence, but at least reasonable anecdotal evidence. Shark version of Moby Dick. Well, the... It, how do I put this... A large part of it stems from an incident off the coast of Australia, I think. It was either off the it was either off the east coast of the US or off the coast of Australia, east coast of Australia, where they uh the scientists had tagged this just enormous um great white female. Mm -hmm. And they were just, you know, wanting to track her and all that. And, you know, for about a week everything was going fine, and then all of a sudden the tracker just stopped. And they were wondering, okay, did it, like, like, like they weren't getting any signal from it anymore. And so they, were th they were thinking, you know, like, okay, it must have shorted out or something. Two or three months later, it comes on again, and it's just, like, it's obviously not moving. It's just, it's floating. And so they managed to uh, locate it and get it and find out that uh, it's been running the whole time. And it was just, it, the reason it stopped was because what the part of the shark that it was attached to got bitten off like in one swoop and like i, I don't know it, it was this weird whole huge documentary i watched a while ago so hey there owen how you doing man how can i be of service 
I mean, realistically, could they still exist? No, there's not an ecosystem to support them. But it's it's interesting that people, you know, might still speculate about this kind of stuff. This uh, cryptozoology. Speaking, we know less about under our ocean than we do about outer space. True. I mean, there have been fewer people to the bottom of the ocean than there have been on the surface of the moon. So. <laughs> no, I mean, we're, we're not talking about anything, you know, top secret. Okay, uh, was this one that we just had, or is this new? One. Okay. But it's good to see you again, man. It's uh, It's been a little while since we've seen you around, Ilwin. Another quest in a second. But yeah, I'll have to see if I can find that uh, find that for you at some point, Han, because it's it was actually very interesting to watch. Will you lend me your it sounds like it. And then you know they they go on to you know do a whole lot of other interviews, and even at the end of the documentary, they still say you know like is it possible or is it likely that the megalodon still exists? Realistically, no. But it's you know there, there's enough evidence to theorize that it's possible and there are a bunch of people who study this and in their brains that would be the coolest thing that's ever happened yep of course then again i'm i'm one of those guys that has like a very healthy belief in the supernatural and thinks that you know it's it's not out of the realm of possibility that things like ghosts and whatnot do exist. I mean, there are just some things that you cannot explain uh, through science. But I am not, you know, one of these guys that spends their life hunting for Bigfoot. <laughs> I'm drunk and fishermen. Uh, well, I mean, just because they're drunken fishermen doesn't necessarily mean they're lying. Oh, look, a troll. A troll? Wait, like a troll with a quest? That's... Oh, okay, so we can't attack him. This one is kill it quest. Well, he wasn't moving, so I'm like, wait a second, do we talk to this guy? Nah. Okay, well, no, I'm, I'm done for killing trolls. I don't think I've ever been here before. Cool. Well, then this is something new for both of us. I am going to need to... I, I need a minute just to sell some stuff. You have a store in your pocket. I do. And it is m most convenient. Although, actually, I should probably be good to hold off for a little bit. Weapons chest. Don't we need this? Did you get it already? Yeah. Okay. I should be good. I just... I had... Uh, my pending loot was starting to get a little full. And so I, I grabbed it, so I'm a little full on the inventory, but I should be alright for now. Uh, I, I have not played Outriders yet. I apologize, but I have not had a chance to, uh... I've not played it yet. I've not even bought it yet. You wishlisted it. I did wishlist it. Um... Budget-wise right now, though, I've got to... Uh, I only have so much in the fun budget that I can really spend outside of what I've already kind of allocated. Because something comes out in a couple of weeks that's going to take the majority of what I can save up. So... Because <laughs> I'm a nerd in my 30s who's playing with miniatures. Yep. What are your thoughts on it, though? Besides, these days, most of the games I play are just in VR. Because, you know, that's what I do for work. 
XCOM. Except for XCOM. I, I've very thoroughly been enjoying X, uh, XCOM again as of late. Man, I can't talk tonight. At least I say I've been thoroughly enjoying XCOM, and yet half the time I'm screaming at the uh, screen, how could you miss that shot? You had a 97% chance to hit, and you still missed. I watched the bullet go through the guy's head, and you still missed. The barrel of your gun was pointing up his nose. I wonder what's in this... Uh... I, I don't know. Are we going spelunking? It's in this cave. Then yes, we're going spelunking. Ooh, it's a quest. It's a what? It's meant for group. You want to see if we can do it or back out? Sure, why not? We're fairly high in level. Okay, so what my my thoughts on Outriders is that it looks cool, um, and I'm interested to see what they do with it, but. I'm not, uh, it's still early access, and it's only come out on early access, like, today, and so I'm very hesitant to pull the trigger. Uh, I want to, I want to give them some time to kind of refine things first. Um, I'm not saving up for a game. It is for new ships for my Armada collection, because, like I said, I'm a 30-year-old who's playing with tabletop miniatures. Venator, man. Uh, I want two Venators. And two Invisible Hands. And two uh, Providences. Well, no, Providence isn't the one coming out. Uh, Maleficent? I don't know. I think it's a Maleficent class for it. And then also the, the Peltas. Yeah, yeah, it's important. Brick, dude. Armada. Okay, what are we doing in here? We're looking for Favengar, Trollkeeper. Oh, okay. This is a large cave. Yeah, and you see, that's that's why I've been uh, holding off on making a purchase on it, Ike, is just because it is uh, it is early access. And so... Um, yeah, I just I want them to polish it up a bit first. But it does look cool. It does look very cool. The different classes have a lot of fun. Yeah. So we'll probably be checking it out at some point. We might end up streaming it eventually, but we'll see. Well, Mass Effect's coming out in like a month. Oh, that's true, and I gotta pre order that. Oh. So many games. So many games, so little time. Gosh, I loved Mass Effect. Ever. Well, it's funny, like, like, I bugged you for the longest time. You know, you need to play Mass Effect, you need to play Mass Effect, you need to play Mass Effect. You finally get it, and then about, like, two months after you finally start playing it, you, the, uh, you, I introduce you to WoW, and you, like, haven't touched it since then. Yeah. It makes me kind of sad. <laughs> when I don't need to start over anyways, remember how to, like, move and whatnot. It's WASD. It's just like every okay. other game. Exaggerating on which exact controls, but, you know, all the fit yeah. bits. Yeah, no, I got you. You know, it's funny, actually, Ike. My wife and I, uh, we were we were mentioning, uh, talking about that in, um, you know, so many games, so little money. Uh, we were talking about that last night, because, you know, with what I do for work and all. Um, when, when I got hired... She w and start taking over their YouTube stuff. She was suggesting or saying that uh, we we need to budget out the the game reviews and stuff like that, uh, just because she, we didn't want to break the bank. And yet, 
I've gotten probably close to five or six hundred dollars worth of game keys for free for VR. I mean, there, there's some really nice perks to this job. Here. Yeah, seriously. Tons of trolls out here. And and that's not meant to be a brag, I mean, or at least not, you know, okay, so maybe a small brag, but still. Um, more, more just kind of relevant to the point at hand that you're making. Okay, where is this guy? Question, this cave, it just keeps going. It's like the freaking Energizer Bunny. I mean, at least, you know, we don't need, like, a giant fellowship to get through this, like, you know, we're, we're handling it, but still, where is this guy? Also, why are we backtracking? We're not. We're still uncovering the map, you know, the mini-map. Oh, true. It seemed like we were backtracking. I think we'll get our troll slayer deed efficiently. I would be inclined to agree. I can track again. I tried, but I couldn't see him earlier, so give me a second. Okay. I'm just going through my notifications thingy. On the list. There might just be too many close by trolls, though. Might be. Yeah, I know, right, Eck? Yeah, you know, th that's like half the fun of doing one of these kind of games. Is just, you're you're just out there killing trolls. Cause, why not? Especially these ugly ones. Won't those come in pretty? I mean, they can maybe. I I, I don't really think tr Sauron had beauty in mind when he designed her, Chewie. We found All a whole right, nother ring. Off. So, just kind of a random thing. Like, where do you think they're going to take this game now? You know, then, I, like, they're, they're doing War of Three Peaks, and that kind of seems like just kind of filler as they try to figure out what to do. I mean, where do you think they're going to go from here now that the, you know, they follow the path of the books and everything? Well, I mean, I don't think the Starring of the Shire happened. I think the last big story event was the wedding. Oh, really? Yeah, so, I mean, I think they stopped the Starring of the Shire. Okay, okay, so let me rephrase this. What do you think is the next big thing they're going to do for the game? At this point, they're free to kind of tell the story they want to tell. I mean, I honestly, like, this, this might be, you know, something to be, like, burned in effigy over saying, but, uh... It could be a journey to the Undying Lands. Yeah, I don't think that would happen because the non-elf races aren't supposed to ever go there. I, and true, but it could just be that, you know, Morgoth is broken free and that, that rule can no longer be upheld. Just for the sake of, uh, you know, being able to survive. And then, uh, what is it, uh, Dal and Giliath, or whatever the final battle is supposed to be. Uh, ensues. I don't think Middle-earth is anywhere near that event. You don't think so? No. Did I say it right? Is that the name of it? I, I don't even remember. I mean, you're, you're the Tolkien encyclopedia here. There's a big difference between reading a bunch of words and never having said them out loud. <laughs> Yeah, but you're the Tolkien Encyclopedia here. Yeah, that's probably a good point, Eck. That that's the most likely route that they think they have. And there's a lot that they can explore out in Harad and uh, and Rune.
There, uh, well, there, there's also, you know, the retaking of Minasithil. I mean, that, that could, in and of itself could be a whole raid. Might be included to some degree. Oh, really? I know Smorgle has a, a map with, like, travel horses and whatnot on it. Really? Yeah, I was seeing that when I was playing on my main a few days ago. Alright, later, Ike. Yeah. This is like the biggest cave I've ever seen. Oh, frick. Skirt this. Well, not anymore. Oh, yeah, you see, you started saying that after I, uh. <laughs> Okay, Ilwyn's got you there. True, that is a bigger cave. Wow, that's a lot of dudes right here. Oh, come on, we can take them! So yeah, anyway, uh, I, Ek, I think you're probably right. That's I think that's the most likely route that they have to go for telling a new story. Because, um, I mean, the only time I think Harad has really been explored, at least from what I can remember, is, like, in Shadow of War. Uh, and you only see, like, a brief glimpse of it. Because you've only got, like, the, the two fortresses in that one area. Well, and if they go far enough, we could actually meet up with the Blue Wizards and they could start to tell that story. Oh, that's true. Realize that they are far from me. All right, give me a second to see if I can. Uh, this is an area we've already explored. So it looks like. So backtrack because there's a whole little dark area that I I see we haven't gone through. I'm not seeing uh, Favargar, Cold Keeper. Where is this guy? Isn't he? In front of us. Hence why I'm asking, where is this guy? You've as much of this cave as I have. But have I really? Yep. Oh, okay. Yep, yep. Okay, if you say so. Uh, well, okay, there, that's an enclave with fire that... Oh, no, never mind, it just keeps going. But let's check it out. And it's the only place we haven't explored, so it's the only place you probably could be. Just keep going. Yeah, I don't think this deed's gonna be a hard one to get. No, we're already on, like, advanced tier. We're 34 out of 80. Okay. Uh... Oh, look, a little dude. Yeah, there have been a few of them scattered around so far. Alright, let's see if I can track. Rock Troll Wild Arm, or Wild Arm. These are supposed to be. Elites. I can track. You can track him? Where is he? Just over here. Well, hold on. I'm killing this guy. Okay. Oh, yep, the music changed. Boss fight! A little, he's a, an Angmarm dude. He's a what? Angmarm. This guy? Oh. Yeah, five are. He's a he's a man. Yep. Interesting. But this is how dudes from Angmar are dressed. I will keep that in mind. Yay, we killed him. Did we turn that in somewhere? Probably. Okay. Yeah, over in that over clubhouse. Where, where, okay. Well, uh, let's let's make like a tree and get the f out of here then. 
we go! Yes, again. Well, that was an adventure. Yeah. I mean, like you said, you've never done this one before. So. Ooh, I have a room stone in my overflow. Uh, let's deal with that later. But my overflow. Well, then pull, you've got a shop. I'm just pulling stuff into my inventory. Yeah, I mean, we, we can sell stuff, you know. Don't you know? Yep. Away. Yeah, we'll come back this way. Okay. Okay. Unless the map lies to me. These guys respawn. Oh, well, I mean, it's been a little while since we've been through here. It's not terribly fast. The group on our left. What was that? I'm skipping the group on the left. Okay. It'd be a really good place for a burglar. <laughs> what, you just stealth through it? Yeah. Yeah, but then you miss out on the fun of killing trolls. Which, you know, in the end, that's that's what you're here to do, isn't it? Oh. The whole reason they made low trolls. To kill trolls, yeah. You just like flying. I did fly. I do like flying. Okay. So this is the waterfall that we were about to go through before. Mm -hmm. So where is... Okay, that's our path out. That one on our left. Yeah, I can, well, I mean, I can see it on the map when I pull it off. You know, for elites, these guys actually don't seem to be all that tough. I mean, maybe it's just because we're in a group together, but... Group and we outlevel them a This is bit. also true. Well, only by four. I mean, they're not... That's not that much. These definitely aren't the hard elites. No. No, these, this is definitely a lot easier than that one, uh, than the elites that we faced in that one, uh, instance, or scenario, or whatever, where I had to switch to spec healing. The one, or the, uh, one in the red swamp? Uh, the, the one on the mountain. The one where you were killing the orc, and we tried, like, four times. Oh, Weathertop, yeah, okay. Yeah, that was the one I was thinking of. Okay. We only need another 21 trolls to go through our advanced troll slayer. We'll probably get it. Entirely likely. Because there's plenty of them here. And to think I was all just in this cave. And to think what? And I was all just like, what's in this cave over here? Yeah, and look what you did. You sp uh, sent us on a half hour long adventure. Stranded in Rivendell. What? I did not get it stranded in Rivendell. Hey, that wasn't my fault. Your fault? It was Gandalf's fault. Yeah. yeah. I might need to open up the store before too long. That almost sounded like you were going to become a merchant and give up this adventuring life. Oh, tch. no. Hmm. 
No, no. By the way, uh, in the event that anyone watching is interested, um, I know you guys are pretty good about catching streams, but if you want to catch replays, because Twitch only keeps, you know, these around for two weeks, we do have uh, every stream that we've done posted in chronological order on the YouTube page that we've got linked in our banner, or linked as one of our links, rather. So if you want to check it out, feel free. But uh, I'm just throwing that out there. Okay, we are almost out. That's a troll merchant. <laughs> Little store in here, you'd make so much money. Selling what? I mean, I'm all for capitalism, but I don't know what to sell these. The, the, I don't know what you sell trolls. You sell humans just in bigger quantities. I don't think it works like that. I, in fact, I'm fairly positive it does not work like that. Oh, there's a corpse. Let's loot it. Because nothing says Tolkien like looting a corpse. Pockets and look for loose change. Yep. Okay, we need... W okay, w literally one more troll. For advanced. Oh, look. Oh. Yeah. That's how I knew. Okay. So, we completed advanced. New deed. Slayer of the North Downs. Oh, did we finish it then? Yeah, we finished Troll Slayer, and so Slayer of the North Downs will be like, you've done one of six, it looks like, Slayer deeds. Ah, okay. Okay, well then, let's keep moving. All right, we saved him out. I think so. Okay. And I'm gonna stop right about over here and open up the store. Oh no, I'm detecting something stealthy. Uh, the marsh strike creeper. Oh, I'll open up the store. Yeah, I think I will do the same. Mine is very cool. As is mine. Well, let me just make sure that I'm not selling anything that I actually want. Deal with that later. Okay. Where's everything? Uh, not everything, everything. Wow, okay, that filled up my pending inventory very quickly. <laughs> oh, do you want the tombstone? It's a item level 27. Uh, lock, uh, lock. Uh, lock it. We'll take a look at it later. But yeah, I'm, I I don't really kind of want to spend time on stream figuring that out. If you uh, understand what, I'm, or if you know what I'm saying. Okay. Uh, sell all. Yes.
and sell all. Sweet. Okay, there we go. Uh, I'm good to go. And that was my last experience boost from the uh, gold box thingy. Okay. Uh, lead kindly light. We're going this way. Hey, hon, I'm off mic. Um, how much... Keep going, but... How much longer do you want to keep going for? Because we're at about an hour fifty now. What? Okay. Oh. Okay. And one of them is going to be in this cave. Okay. Which one is that? Unless this is... Okay, so is he a quest? Oh. Wait, are we really not off mic? I did not realize that. <laughs> We got caught with hot mics. I didn't realize we were off mic. Yeah, I mean, this is just what we talk about when we're off mic. We just kind of... Huh. Well, okay then. Yeah, well, now now you've heard the, uh, the inner workings behind the scenes here. <laughs> Really? I'll look into that. I'll, I'll figure out what's why that is. Because, I mean, we need to be able to, to be off mic. I mean, if nothing else, I could just just mute my mic. I'm noticing that your Discord name is not fading out all the time. Oh, there's a dude. That's the dude we need right over there. Well, I mean, like, like I usually have my finger on the button uh, for a push to talk pretty consistently. Like, I don't turn it off all the time. Um... But no, it's not just you. Uh, I've I've got my headphones a little offset because I was talking with my wife. So oh, we gotta escort him. You should be so happy. Hooray, escorts! All right. Well, thank you for letting us know about that, Ek. Uh, we will. <laughs> I will look into fixing that so you guys don't hear our. Uh... Our off mic uh, banter, such as it is. Yeah, that was like the worst thing ever for people over here. Yeah. I think I know what is happening. What? You are not going through Discord, but OBS is still picking it up. Entirely possible. In fact, highly. In fact, that is actually probably what it is. So, yeah. Okay. Well, I I know how to get around that. Done. Yay! He's safe. Well, as far as escort quests go, that was not bad, actually. Now go back to that little elf town and turn all these in. Yep, and that might be a good natural point to kind of call it for tonight, because that's, uh, we're just under two hours, so. I stood in tomorrow morning and tell how Brad about all the stuff we did. Yep, so just a reminder, our, uh, our times have changed for, uh, when we're streaming, so we are doing ARC from set, uh, from 6 to 8 a.m. Pacific, and then we're doing, uh, well, tomorrow... We're going to be doing Lotro from, oh gosh, what is it? Uh, oh, 11-ish. It's going to be like 11-ish to about... 12.45. 12.45-ish, yeah. Yeah, because we, we have uh, something that we have to kind of plan around tomorrow. But then after that, we should be, you know, 6 to 8, and then uh, 9 to 11 going forward. Mega Vonnen. Mega Vonnen to you what too. Do you need? What can I do for you?
Uh, oh, 20% discount at most North Down shops. Interesting. Okay. Will you lend me your ear? Yeah. I, I, that's why I didn't go for it. I said it was interesting. I didn't say it was what I wanted. Alright, is that everything we had here? He has like another quest, but his quest is sending us to Epstelden, so... What can I do for you? Oh. Okay, then. So, we can do that tomorrow morning. Well, alright. Sounds good to me. What was that tap? What tap? Do you not hear it? You hear the tippy tap of your horse's feet? No, it was like a, it was like a tap on like a, a countertop or something, like a pencil. It's doing something uh, while he's asleep. I don't know. He very well might. But uh, that having been said, we will probably wrap it up here because we do have things we got to get done tonight before we go to bed. So thank you all so much for tuning into the stream, for chatting with us, for being here tonight. Uh, until next time, I'm Vanlin. And I'm your elf. And this is Cow Elf Gaming. We'll see you guys tomorrow morning.